Well, it was a good weekend for me, but took a little bit of time off with the family. Chance to recharge the batteries a little bit. Now we're coming into a very important week for the stock market. I think we're closing off the second quarter of 2017 and also the first half of 2017. As far as I'm concerned, there's really only two types of market environments for the stock market. Number one is what you call a broader risk on or risk off environment where either the broader market rallies in sync or fall in sync. And that's usually the type of environment where you have a focus on a, on a specific geopolitical event or a specific political event or a central bank or something like that, where everything kind of trades in tandem, more or less. And then you have the other kind of market, which is happens much more frequently, which we call sort of a sector and group rotation game. That's the kind of market that we are in right now. And I'm looking at this, I've looked at some futures positioning in the small caps and other indices markets. And I really like the, the small cap stocks here looking at the Russell 3000. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go to the charts. So if you look at the price action that we've had in US equities over the past couple of weeks, and certainly most notably last week, we had a very significant rotation into healthcare stocks and more specifically in biotechnology stocks. So that's just to kind of show you in a very simple terms that the sector and group rotation game continues here. Now, even though I think that part of the market may be somewhat overbought here in the immediate to near term, I'm looking for a next group of stocks that might be giving us a, an opportunity to participate on alongside. And uh, what I'm looking at here is the Russell 2000, the IWM ETF. And it doesn't really matter how we play this alongside with stocks, with options, with the ETF itself. That's kind of up to the individual player. For me personally, I like to look at the stock or the ETF here first and, and kind of show you what I mean. Well, no, first of all, what you don't see here is the positioning. We've, As a result of last week's sort of little pullback in these stocks, in the small cap stock, we actually have institutional investors kind of net short. Even though what the technicals are telling us in the broader market is that things very much remain bullish. So what you have here is the Russell 2000. Okay, there's no reason to overcomplicate this. So you can see Russell 2000, largely speaking, has been trading sideways pretty much ever since early uh, December of 2016. So after that initial rally coming out of the election. And even though we had a marginal breakout take place a few weeks ago, it really hasn't happened in a bigger way yet. Yet at the same time, we continue to consolidate at the upper end of this range. Again, that's just totally about the future positioning, which if... Wall Street is positioned one way, usually that's a crowd of trades. So I'm actually thinking this net short positioning on Wall Street is actually a positive thing for the market here for a trade. So I think if the IWM can get above, let's call it about 142 or so, that might be an opportunity to get this uh, this index moving closer to 147, 148 and actually give a sustainable breakout. Now, again, what we're seeing is a series of higher lows ever since, what well, I guess that must, must have been uh, April or so. And uh, we've got the medium term moving averages of 51 a day also kind of holding us up. That's not everything you need to know. And that's not an actual catalyst, but it's nice to see it's there. And lastly, in relative terms, and this I think is important. If you look at the chart down here where I took the Russell 2000, I divided it by the S&P 500. You can see we've seen relative weakness ever since the initial reaction after the election. And now we're potentially, if we see a breakout on the Russell 2000, we'll also see relative strength start to break out. So I like the Russell 2000, particularly if we can get back above 142 on a daily closing basis. I hope this makes sense. You guys have a great start to the week. Take care.